Husky and Hutch, Paul Glazer, live in Los Angeles with their six-year-old son. Now, following Elizabeth's remarks, there will be a film. And there's some difficulty because you can't darken this auditorium. So at that time, those on the extreme right and left will have to move where they can at least see the screen. And we'll wait a couple of seconds uh, for you to move to be able to get in that position. So please join me in giving a warm CWA, CWA welcome to our friend and guest, Elizabeth Glazer. research. 
and the government wasn't. The Pediatric AIDS Foundation started raising private money and educating people in Washington behind the scenes. But there was a story that needed to be told to many, many people. The story about what it was like really to be a family living with AIDS. And so a year ago, we decided to make a documentary film. In many ways, this film was my story that I couldn't tell publicly because at that time, I was still hiding. But really, my story is the same story as every family battling AIDS. And so, at this time, I would like to ask you to look at the monitors and watch this film, and when it's done, I have a few more words that I would like to say. Thank you. <laughs> you, you. You want to move from the extreme right and left, and how you can see the monitors? Because we can't dock in this room. There are 20,000 children infected with the HIV virus right now. Those numbers will increase because women and children are already the most underreported area. 80% of all children infected are born to infected mothers. AIDS is now a family issue. You know what most of the world says? This is not my problem. I don't want to worry about it, and I don't want to care about it. <clears throat> you have invited me here because as I understand it, there is a resolution that you will be voting on to adopt the Pediatric AIDS Foundation as an organization that you will support. Let me tell you what that means to us. First of all, it means that you are not like the rest of the world. Because you have said, we must care and we will care about this and we will help to make it better. There is no way that you can ever really know how important that is until you stand in my shoes. And I hope that none of you ever have to stand in my shoes. Because as you say that you care, others will see that they can care too. And you will set an example for a world that has still not decided to care. Secondly, we are a small, tiny grassroots organization. We have one office with seven desks. We have seven wonderful workers, three who are volunteers and four who are paid. With your help, we can do things that we never imagined possible. Together, we can educate millions and millions of Americans that would never have been reached before. As the Pediatric AIDS Foundation develops programs to help families with AIDS, you can help us use them. Whether it be this film or the school education program we're developing, you can help us reach out to America with positive, factual information so that families like mine 
and the families you saw in the spill need no longer face the devastating isolation that lack of education brings. You can also help us to educate Washington, where there's a big struggle that we fight every day, and our local legislatures about issues concerning children with AIDS. You have no idea how much they don't know about this. There are already CWA members in California where we are who are working to bring these issues to the California legislature. It's amazing to us, but we know the potential is there for this to happen in every state. And with your financial support, we can move ahead the foundation boldly and quickly to bring together the researchers who will identify the directions in which pediatric AIDS research must move to get the answers we need as quickly as possible. And to find a way, hopefully, to block transmission of this virus so no new children need be born with AIDS. These are not impossible goals. There is no time to waste. My son's life and so many other children's lives hang in the balance. You will be helping us to seize the moment now. As I said, AIDS is a family issue. And now, your family will become a part of our family. In my wildest dreams, I never imagined it possible to have a family this large. We are so excited. We wanted to identify one very special person to work with our new family, and so I want to introduce to you Beth Freeman, who has come from Los Angeles with me today because she will be our main man who will help us coordinate what seems like a possible dream, which is the, the reality of becoming one family together. So I wanted you all to meet Beth because if you ever call our office, she will be the most important person to talk to. When I was in Washington last, I met with your legislative group, and I must tell you, it was a profound experience. I always feel like I leave Washington empty-handed. I guess maybe everyone feels that way when they go to Washington. <laughs> but on that trip, I realized that I was sitting with real people, and that when real people decide they want to do something. It's not a long, complicated, laborious process. Real people make it a simple decision. Let's do it. How can we help? Today, you are helping. I am honored to be here because you are the people who will make the difference so that the Pediatric AIDS Foundation can help the most people, and so that families like mine will have hope for their future. And so from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for letting me come here today.